Daddy, thank you for coming. I know the nature of the road. Thank you. Celebrating once again. Daddy. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. We, we love fathers that have mission in mind. Just like I always share with you people. Once you become a mission-based man, your heart is for God any day, any time, irrespective of where the duty comes. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Pastor Kui. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's, a, it's really a hectic journey. I, I could feel it. I could feel the terrain. Thank you, sir. Ah, oh, hallelujah. I won't keep that in waiting. Sir, thank you for coming. With Jesus joy, let's welcome that the evangelist Emmanuel Ibrahim from Outreach Africa, Ayangba, Kogi State, Nigeria. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Lift up your two hands before the Most High and say something great about the Great One. And I want you to know that there's nothing you will say about God that is too much for Him. Ascribe greatness to Him. And can you ask that this moment he will give you a shift in your life and destiny. Can you tell the changeless changer to change something about your life and destiny? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Finally, in a minute, can you say, Lord, I am here. A miracle. With my name written on it. Send it into my life this moment. A miracle with my name written on it. Jesus name we pray eternal father thank you because you have always been a God of wonders you are the changeless changer you were you are and you are to come so you occupy the past you are present in the present and you guarantee the future what God has always done among these people for us tonight. Change somebody's story. Lift the downcasted. Strengthen the crooked. Empower the weak. Heal the sick. Deliver the oppressed. And open closed doors. Jesus mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please put your hand together for the Lord. Thank you. You may be seated. Wow, I'm so, so, so glad to be here. Aha, uh -huh. now I know this man well. You don't know a man until you come to his house. Uh. But something has always told me that this is a generational voice. Uh. Yes. And I believe that 
he is just rehearsing. Uh, this is rehearsals. The real music will soon start. Uh, the nations are beckoning. The world is waiting. Yes. You have taken time to take roots. And very soon you will bear fruits. Fruits in lands, in nations. Thank you for all your labor to lift his name. He will lift you. And those handmaiden, the Lord bless you. Thank you for being a powerful pillar. Uh, yes. Thank you. God bless you. Now, any man performing on the platform had peace in the closet. Yes. A troubled man will be dry on the altar. So can you put your hand together for, for mama? God bless you. Thank you. All right. Amen. 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 All right. Please, you may be seated. Can you appreciate Yusuf who brought us here? Put your hand together. He is our driver that brought us. I'm Pastor Aiko, one of the leading ministers in our mission, who is a, a great voice too in God's heart. I appreciate him. Thank you. All right, now we have to run. I, I was going to enjoy God's servant, but he quickly handed over to me. All right, now I want to introduce someone to you. And by the time I finish the introduction, he will answer his name in your life. He has been God's joker that he has used to settle every human's call. It's the fighter that has never lost any battle. And I want to introduce him to you in a few minutes. And I believe that as he's been lifted up, whatever is against you, because you are his, will come under judgment. Genesis chapter 1. verse 3 and 4 and God said let there be light and there was light and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness now I want you to see that from verse 2 the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Now when God created the earth, the world, the first day of creation, the Bible said in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. That beginning is not the beginning of God. God began the beginning. The beginning came out of God. That's why he is Alpha and he can be the Omega. Whatever he didn't begin, he can end. And whatever began without him has no roots because he began the beginning. 
So the Bible says in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was void, was formless, was covered by darkness. It was a soup of naughtiness. And I want you to look, listen very well now. And I want to ask you some very quick questions. Do you think the heaven that God created and the earth that he created were the same? Was the heaven void? Was it empty? Was it covered by darkness? Thank you for being good students. Question number two. Do you think that the same God that created heaven is the same God that created the earth that was void, that was formless, that was a soup of naughtiness, that was a bunch of confusion, or one God created heaven and another God created the earth? Is it the same God? All right, now, then you will ask, you will, you will wonder with me, why was the heaven peaceful, beautiful, and the earth was in confusion? Do you know what happened? There was interruption of darkness. Darkness was mentioned, but God didn't create darkness because God is light and in him there's no darkness at all. God is not 95% light. He is full light, complete light. Darkness is alien to him. So we saw that there was an intrusion, there was an interruption of darkness in the good work God did. Darkness is an intruder. Darkness opposes God's verdict. And I want you to listen to me. So when darkness began to attack the work of God, began to attack the earth that God created, God sent a fighter. Are you going? You need to sit well because what I'm about to say can throw you out of your seat. <laughs> now, God sent an answer. God sent a warrior. The name of that warrior in Genesis chapter 1 was light. <laughs> and as soon as that light appeared, do you know there was no negotiation? Do you know darkness disappeared? Darkness melted. Darkness evaporated. There was no argument. And I prophesy, no darkness will argue with God in your life today. Amen. Everything that is not of God origin is disappearing now. Amen. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Amen. Affliction is disappearing. Amen. Frustration is disappearing. Amen. Cancer is disappearing. Ulcer is disappearing. Amen. He said, Let there be light. Do you know God didn't utter darkness, but He uttered light? Darkness does not have the signature of the Creator that light has and because light emanated from the ruler of the universe it shall overshadow darkness Amen. it shall dethrone darkness Amen. it shall displace darkness Amen. it shall swallow up darkness Amen. it shall extinguish darkness Amen. it shall put an end to darkness Amen. and everywhere darkness is today as light is coming to rain, darkness is dissipating. Amen. It's disappearing. Amen. Ah. When Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is finished. He didn't come to reduce, he came to finish. He's finishing your affliction. He's finishing your shame. He's finishing your curse. He's finishing your cancer. He's finishing every work of the devil. Amen. He is the author and the finisher. He 
ye die fully to redeem you fully I don't know what happens here in my place my place may be different from here but can I ask you a question if you go to the market in Nsuka here yes I am from Kogi you are from Enugu state and then you pay a supermarket for a product you pay for a shoe how many days will the shoe stay with the supermarket owner before you carry it home how many days eh? there's something as it happened in my village ah, because he paid your price your deliverance is today Amen. your redemption is today ah, he didn't pay halfway there's no balance to settle. <laughs> Sir, that is what happened on the cross. The day Jesus died, two people were crucified with him. One on the right, one on the left. And they were terrible criminals. And one turned away from God. That day, sir, one sinner went to hell. Another sinner went to heaven. <laughs> Sir, because those two criminals, the one that went to heaven was not better than the one that went to hell. What made him go to hell is that he turned away from the Savior. And what the other made the other one go to heaven is turned to the Savior. And you know when that, that 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 criminal that became saved on the cross quarter two minutes to go to hell he changed his story he encountered the changer he encountered the solution giver he encountered the light he encountered the light of god that take it away and the man said something he said jesus remember me in your kingdom and jesus a point of correction you are postponing the matter today 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 you will be with me in paradise today you will be delivered today you will be set free <laughs> because once you pay you have That's why he came. He is our replacement. He became son of man so that I can become son of God. <laughs> he left heaven so that I can go to heaven. He tasted the bitter so that I can taste the better. He became the lamb so that I can become the lion. <laughs> and listen to me on the cross he said to the he said they didn't know they were carnal men they didn't know that he was talking in higher realms he said i am thirsty and they thought he was talking about thirst for water for drink what he was saying is that i am thirsty to lick up whatever trouble men that i am dying for i am thirsty to swallow cancer i am so thirsty to destroy now that i am suffering i am thirsty to lick up every work of the devil in the life of those i am dying for then he gave up the ghost and as soon as he gave up the ghost that was where Satan lost it. <sighs> I 
And the Bible said he was buried. Listen to me. For three days, Jesus was not on earth and he was not in heaven. Where was he? He was in hell. Okay, you are good students here. You are, you are passing all my exams. Why hell? Let me tell you. He took my matter to Satan's headquarter. I know, I know, I know. He had cut He took my matter to the supreme court of hell. So that no other court can adjudicate it again. Hmm. And he went for Emmanuel. Who did he go for? I want to hear the name of the person. Yes. And for the first time, a righteous man enter hell so that evil men will go to heaven. <laughs> ah. Now listen to me. Christianity is not about what you can do. do. It's just about what he has done. Yes, So he came to hell and they said, why are you here? He said, I am here because of Emmanuel. I want to settle everything that has to do with him. They said, how many days will you stay here? Because it was terrible for hell to accommodate him for three days. He said, I am staying for three days. And why three days? You know, he could settle it in three hours. Let me tell you why. We have only three days in life. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. <laughs> we have only three days in life. The past, the present, and the future. He said, first day, I'm here to Cancel Emmanuel's past. Your past is cancelled. You are a believer. Your past is cancelled. I'm here to cancel their past, to establish their present, and to guarantee their future. I pray in the name of the Lord. Your past is cancelled. Whatever followed you from your father's house, from your mother's house, because of Jesus, it is cancelled. In the days you were a sinner, whatever your mistake brought upon you, where you are now, your past is cancelled. All things are passing away. Oh, oh, you are not saying the good amen. Amen. Old nature passing away. Amen. Old character passing away. Amen. Old affliction passing away. Amen. All old things are passing away. Amen. And he has to counsel your past. So that you can catch up with your future. If your yesterday is alive, it will kill your tomorrow. If you failed yesterday, that is yesterday. Bury the failure and rise again. So that was the light. And the Bible said, when he came, he, 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 he settled darkness. He dislodged darkness. He destroyed darkness. He displaced darkness. The reign of darkness came to an end. And 
and I need to run so that I don't keep you beyond time. But are you already blessed? Yes, sir. Now listen to me. What I'm telling you, you run through scriptures. Then God raised a man called Abraham. Abraham was the seed God was going to pass through to populate the earth with sons and daughters. Abraham became God's channel to inject heavenly, heavenly life into earthly domain. It was God's, he was God's takeover agenda. And Abraham had one son okay there was Ishmael that he got by mistake and God told Abraham send Ishmael away I don't I have nothing to do with Ishmael and listen to me Isaac cannot survive if Ishmael is alive those of you who want to see the glory of God dethrone the flesh and the spirit will reign Can I go on? Yes, so one day, you know, God told Abraham in Genesis 22. Give us Genesis 22 quickly. I will run now. I, I, I think that hey, you may be seated. Yes. Genesis 22, can you give me verse 12? Okay, now um, give me verse 10 so that we will get the full story. Alright, and Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Abraham already took his knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son. That only son from me. And Abraham lit up of his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a ticket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a bond offering in the stead of his son. Now, it's okay. Look at me. Oh, Lord, let there be understanding. Now, I told you that anytime God wants to deliver humanity, the warrior he sent is Jesus. He was the light in Genesis. Now, here, God told Abraham, and now we don't have time to go into some, some instructions now, because I want to raise your faith to believe God for a miracle. Now, God told Abraham, you are going to kill your son for me. Now, I want you to know that it was on Mount Moriah Israel became a nation. It was on Mount Moriah salvation deliverance of the world was initiated. So God told Abraham, Isaac must die. What did God tell Abraham? Kill Isaac for me. So the sentence was dead. So Isaac was going to go to Mount Moriah and not come home alive. 
that was going to be the end of Isaac death was agreed and Abraham already took Isaac to the place where he will be killed And I want you to, 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 to note, as Isaac was born with Abraham, Isaac carried on his head firewood and cutlass. And they were going to Mount Moriah. I, I have seen Mount Moriah in Israel, very tall. We didn't i didn't climb it but i saw it that was where isaac was taken to very 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 high mountain just like jesus was taken to golgotha isaac was taken to moriah jesus carried this cross which was a wood isaac carried the wood he was going to be tied up And when they came to the mountain, Abraham had laid tied Isaac to the to the wood, and he lifted his 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 sword to. By the time his hand will come down, Isaac is dead. That was when God shouted, "Abraham, Abraham, Abraham! Don't kill your son!" And Abraham said, "Lord." But the verdict is dead. If Isaac will not die, who will die for Isaac? You know, I understand Bible every day. At first, I thought Abraham was the hero of that story. Later, I began to think that Isaac was a better hero. Because Isaac agreed to die. If Isaac was insulting Abraham and said, you are a wicked father, God will punish you. No go better for you. God would have rejected that sacrifice. If Isaac started fighting Abraham and they start fighting, Abraham was 90. Isaac was 70. If Isaac decided to run away, Abraham had no power to pursue and catch him. So Isaac was a better hero. But sir, today I understand that the greatest hero was the lamb. The same that appeared as light in, in Genesis appeared as the lamp. For Isaac. He settled all human problems. Anytime there's trouble with man, he said, I will go. When everybody will fail to open the seal, he will open the seal. As they wanted to kill Isaac, the lamb cried from heaven. He said, Lord, let Isaac not die. Let me die for Isaac. See, it's not one full animal that was grazing cattle and then one lost no that lamp came from heaven because of isaac so that isaac will not die so that isaac will become a nation so that isaac will become a channel of salvation so that isaac will have a future 
so that pain can can be cancelled death can be cancelled and so that isaac will go home alive So they tied the hand of Isaac. They tied the leg of Isaac. And I want you to hear me well. And then, as they were to cut his head, the lamp showed up. And Abraham said, but if Isaac will not suffer, if Isaac will not, will not go through pain, if Isaac will not die, who will die for Isaac? And God said, the lamp so do you know Abraham left Isaac on the stake and went to the lamp and I was afraid I said if the lamp will run away that's the end of Isaac but he mean from his heart to deliver us and he paid every price that's what i used to tell the devil i said devil do you know that it was god that was crucified for me how can god suffer and i will also suffer Hey, no go walk now. Listen. Jesus didn't faint on the cross. He died. And the testament of a testator does not take effect until he has died. Ah. The will of a man is of no effect until death has occurred. And do you know why? The will of God, the will of Christ expressed in his word will be here and amen in my life he died if satan want his will to be executed let him go and die hey, hey, hey. he has no flesh and blood to offer i need no other argument I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. It is enough. It is enough. It is enough. Uh, it will conquer failure. It will destroy cancer. It is enough. Somebody told you that demon until you fast for 40 days. Dry fasting, it will not go. <laughs> uh, listen, I fast, but I don't fast because of Satan. I fast for spiritual elevation. The Satan was finished at Calvary. Calvary is enough.
so Abraham went and held the lamp the lamp accepted followed Abraham and the lamp came to where Isaac was tied and I thought that was the point to run away because see the way this man tied his own son <laughs> that's how he's going to tie me just now but the lamb stood and saw Abraham untying the leg of Isaac the hand of Isaac that is why tonight you will be free to make progress That is why right tonight your hand will be valiant in battle. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> they untied Isaac? Why did they untie Isaac? You can't tie the lamp and tie Isaac. Before you tie the lamp, you must untie Isaac. Are you following me? Are you getting understanding? I pray that before I finish this preaching, every yoke will be broken in your life. Amen. You are tied to addiction. This truth will lose you today. You are tied to failure. This truth will lose you today. So after untying Isaac, Isaac now stood and was looking at the lamp. And Abraham carried the lamp, tied the leg of the lamp, tied the hand of the lamp. And Isaac was saying, eh? This lamp is taking my place. What I should have suffered, the lamp has suffered. now my leg can move i can progress academically i can progress in my secular job i can progress in business i can progress maritally because of the lamp then abraham Carried the same dagger and lifted it. Let me tell you what I think. Isaac started pray. He said, Lord, don't change your mind. Because if they say, don't kill the lamp again, eh, go back to Isaac. Isaac oh, would have finished. And Abraham brought the dagger and pierced the lamb pierced and as the, the lamb cried Isaac rejoiced as the blood of the lamb started gushing out Isaac knew that my deliverance is by the blood So as Isaac was walking home with Abraham, he said, yeah. I thank God for the lamb. See me walking home alive. Yeah. Because of the lamb. As Isaac came home, he said, Mama Sarah, I have gist for you. Your son would have slept in the grave today if not for the lamb. As he was eating dinner, Isaac said, Oh, Lamb of God, thank you for my deliverance. It's because you saved me that I am able to eat. As Isaac slept that night, I believe he woke up in the night and said, hey, Am I in the grave or on my bed? And he said, My allegiance is to the Lamb. I believe that the day Isaac married, 
as he was giving testimony he said you know this man who is becoming husband of a wife today you know i could have not married you rebecca if not for the lamp so i dedicate my marriage to the lamp And do you know why Isaac saw the lamp? So that the seed coming out of his loins can live in covenant with God. So when you think that Christianity is struggle, you are missing it. If, if you are righteous and your righteousness is out of self-effort, it's useless until it is Christ living out his life through you. What God wants to see is Christ at work. Yes, and you know, Isaac became a husband because of the lamb. Isaac lived because of the lamb. Isaac became a nation because of the lamb. I don't know. Isaac is one of my Old Testament heroes. He lived as if he was a New Testament saint. Isaac went to Egypt. But he didn't bring any Hagar like his father. It was because of his allegiance to the Lamb. Even when Isaac's wife died, he didn't remarry. And the one that used to make me cry is that one day Isaac wanted to eat meat. Sir. There were cattle rearers. They have many sheep. Is it better? I cannot eat my savior. Esau, go to farm and bring what I can eat. I have covenant with the lamp. So you see, it's a love relationship. Why can I not sin? How can I break the heart of him who died for me? Why will I not have money? And then my account is full and God's work is suffering. I am responsible. If he died for me, what is money? So when they beg you to follow God, you don't understand what he has done for us. God relocated from heaven. Many of you are praying, oh God, let me finish university and go to Canada. Canada is bush compared to heaven. That is where he came for because of me. How can I betray that kind of love? I don't preach as a professional preacher. I preach as a witness of him who paid my price. And the more I do, the more I see myself as a profitable servant. Because if God did that, I am not a beast. I'm responsible. <sighs> Can I round up now? Do you know all true scripture? He was the answer. Hmm. Abraham's covenant was settled.
the day he saw him as Melchizedek. Abraham saw Christ. Oh. You know, Israel was in bondage. Uh, and it is normal for hell to put those who are going to be covenant children in bondage. Do you know what happened? God sent Moses. And Moses did everything. Ten plagues. Terrible plagues that devastated the whole of Egypt. But Pharaoh was stubborn. And Moses was tired and said, God, this thing is not going to work. God said, no. We reserve the best to the last. There's one more that Pharaoh cannot resist. Ah! He said, eh? This top of Pharaoh, he said, okay, wait now. He said, carry the lamp. Kill the lamp for every family. Oh, listen to me. Every family need the lamp. Every individual need the lamp. And all of them killed and ate and put it on the lintel of their door. The, 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 their doorpost. And you know your doorpost is your heart. And you, 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 every firstborn of Egypt died. And that might every Israelite whose house was marked by the blood of the lamp came out of bondage. What play could not settle? The lamp settled. And as they were going, stubborn Pharaoh got up again. And I want you to understand that the lamp, the blood that bl brought you out is the same blood that will sponsor your journey until you get to Canaan land. And then they came to the sea. I don't know why they call the sea the Red Sea. Eh? Of all colors. What sea? Red Sea. Not Black Sea. Not Green Sea. Not Blue Sea. I even was told that the sea is not actually red in color. But they are talking about the bloodline. They are talking about the fact that Satan cannot cross the bloodline. They are talking about the fact that the blood that will give you victory will swallow your Pharaoh. Yes, that is the thing. The blood of the Lamb. All right. Look at this as we pray. Do you know the four Hebrew children were the three three of them were thrown into fire. And the fire was so terrible and tough that those that threw them there soldiers that threw them there the flame slaughtered all of them <clears throat> then the real people who were meant to be consumed by the fire they entered the fire and before they were land in the fire there was a fat man You see, we are looking at the same thing. There was a fourth man. So when they landed in the fire with the fourth man with them, all that the fire helped them to do was to remove their instrument of bondage. 
they cut off the rope on their hand and the rope on their leg and they were dancing in the dark. come and see what the lord has done for me come and see what the lord has done for me if we were to be man are we really they were dancing in the fire hey they were enjoying music with the fourth man it was a heavy fellowship because of the lamp the fire that consume others you will dance in it yeah. uh -huh. so the, the king got up and said ah, what am i seeing is it not three people we threw into the fire i see four people dancing and rejoicing inside this terrible fire and the container the face of the fourth man is the containers of the son of god when he appears in fire fire loses power when daniel carried the real lion to the den of lions lions became his pillow this night the power of the blood will prevail for somebody amen if you are the one let your amen be louder amen look at the last scripture i will read then we will pray and i want you to know that what he did before he will do again amen if he did for one he will do for all amen. in second kings chapter three verse 26 and 27 all right and when the king of moab saw that the battle was too sore for him he took his with him 700 men that drew swords to break through even unto the king of edom but they could not all right look at verse 27 he could not then he took his elder son that should have reigned in his stead and offered him for a burnt offering upon the wall and there was great indignation against israel and they departed from him and returned to their own land lift up your two hands every troubler of your life will return to their own land amen whatever is embarrassing your life is going back to hell amen huh. the bible said there was there was war between the moabites and the people of israel the people that they were fighting were even the people of god listen to this and the man tried he tried he tried he multiplied his military strength strength could not save him strategy could not save him but the blood saved him so he did all he could do and there was no solution then suddenly the holy spirit told him it is the death of the king's son that settled all human problems 
He carry your eldest son. Kill him and you will see what will happen. He carried his eldest son. He offered him. And as soon as he offered him, no strategy again. No going up and down again. No wastage of, of resources again. As soon as his son died, there was anger. There was indignation. There was fury. Power issued out from nowhere and compelled his enemies to depart from him. And I want you to know that that was the cross depicted in the Old Testament. Because of the death of the son of the king, your enemies are leaving you. I don't know how long you have suffered in their hands. I don't know what you have done that didn't work. This one will work. Ah, I said this one will work. Amen. A louder amen. This one will work. Amen. This one will work tonight. Amen. That will go from you. Amen. The spirit of failure will go from you. Amen. Delay will go from you. Amen. Poverty will go from you. Amen. Sickness will go from you. Amen. There we go in the name of the Lord. Amen. Not because of what you can do, but because of what He has done. Let me tell you two stories as we pray. A woman came to one of our meetings. In, uh, in our state, the woman came and he said, she came as if she was nine months pregnant. I didn't know it was not pregnancy. And as we were pleading the finished work of Calvary, the power of God came upon her. And she said, as she fell to the ground, she entered into the spirit realm and she saw an angel who caught her stomach and operated the growth and her stomach became flat. Yes. So, before we finish the meeting, she ran out, jumping. I said, ah, What happened? They said, and everybody said, what of your stomach? What of you? He said, an angel appeared and turned my stomach and removed it. And now, he is able. He is alive. He will do your own today. Amen. I was in one country where they don't speak English like that. Uh, Tanzania. They speak Swahili. Mostly. And then I was preaching in one small church. And then one boy ran out. Ran straight to me. And collected the microphone and said, yeah. hey. So I said, Pastor, what is happening? He said, the man said, uh, he has a testimony. He said, I should have waited until I finish. <laughs> he had one terrible condition that is beyond medical explanation. It takes him two hours to go to the toilet. And he will be crying and rolling on the ground. They have taken him to all the hospitals in the land. No solution. And was living with one old woman. Everybody had given up on him. And that Saturday evening. The woman told her, I am tired of you. Eh? And every day, you say you are a Christian. 
Better die so that we bury you. And he said, No, I will not die. Tomorrow, there is a servant of God preaching in our church. I'm going for the meeting. God will heal me tomorrow. <laughs> the woman laughed and said, ah, <laughs> If God will heal you, he would have healed you since. Look at you, stupid boy. And the boy cried and cried and cried to church the following morning. And she, he said, As I was preaching, at the back, the power of God came upon him, went through his head. There was the thing held him here. He said, The thing loose. He was saying, ooh, 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 ooh. Everything loose. And he, he, he became free. So he said, He cannot wait until we finish service. He collected my profile and gave his testimony. And that ended the service because we went into prayer. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, Father tonight. tonight because of calvary because of calvary fight my battle because of the cut of calvary every enemy whatever is not of god let them depart from my body from my soul from my spirit from my business from my family every enemy begin to disappear remember he is the light that subdues every darkness. Remember, it's the love of God that cancels death, that cancels affliction, that cancels disease. Hey, can no surrender because God's eldest son died for me. Cancer disappear. Ulcer disappear. Delay disappear. Poverty disappear. Cause from my father's house disappear. Go back to hell. Yenoka. Go back to hell. Go back to hell today. Sold my past, he establishes my present, he guarantees my future. Today, everything that follows me from my past go back to sender. I am a man under authority. I say to this one, go, and he goes. And I say to this one, come and it comes. Sickness must go. Pain must go. Delay must go. Frustration must go. Labor without favor must go. He died so that I will live. He bought pain so that my pain will be lifted from me. Thank you. 
thank you thank you jesus in jesus mighty name we pray amen <laughs> he will answer us tonight amen one prayer before i pray with somebody you know the seriousness of the predicament or how do i put it of we preachers is that we be, we pray but we are not the one that answer so if you have problem with head office where answer comes from all our effort will be wasted but god must answer you today Amen. i kept pleading with god that somebody must go with answer from here Amen. but if you have case with headquarter settle it before we pray if you are religious but not saved this is the time to settle it. The Bible said God does not hear the prayer of a sinner. You carry our Bible in your, your hand, but you carry evil in your heart. He will not hear you. As all eyes are closed. The one who say, Lord, help me, forgive me, change my life. I'm a backslider and I want to return back to you. I'm a sinner, though religious, and I want to ask for mercy. Do not waste this golden opportunity because God does not answer the prayer of a sinner. You want to say, Lord, show me mercy. Help me. Forgive me reconcile me to yourself can you lift up your right hand wherever you are if that is your prayer and say lord jesus show me mercy transform me change me take over my life i repent of every sin in my life i embrace your jesus fully and totally this hour hear my prayer and give me a miracle amen shout amen. amen we want to pray now and sorry for taking your time i know you don't stay till this time all right let me tell you this brief story as we pray does not worry about anything that does not bother you whatever you keep quiet about heaven will also keep quiet about it if you say nothing god will do nothing that has mouth can get any other thing ask your neighbor do you have mouth you get mouth if there's anything you don't have use your mouth to get it eh? but you know get eye but he get mouth he use his mouth to get his eyes There was a certain village in that village there was one intelligent doctor the only doctor in that village and the only clinic in that village so so all the man's patients are in one room <laughs> you know that kind of hospital 
So, on this day, there were two critical cases in the hospital. Two of the men in the on admission were very, very seriously ill. They were having terminal diseases. Two of them. So, a doctor came early in the morning to check the patients. Is it what round? Uh, and he was doing that. And then, one of the two critical cases was his close friend, was a friend, somebody known to him. So, he said, let me go and check my friend first before I check others. And the other critical case was at the other end of the room. He saw him going towards that man. He started crying. He said, Doctor, come here before I die. Ah. <laughs> doctor did the answer. He said, Doctor, I have started dying before I finish dying. Come to me. Doctor was going. He said, Doctor, this may be the last time you will hear my voice. Okay. So, Doctor said, Kai, the way this man is crying, he was already by the bed of his friend, but the cry of this man made him to turn. And as he was coming, he said, Doctor, I see if I'm seeing you coming towards me. Come fast before I die. He kept crying until doctor came. And doctor gave him attention. He said, do this, do that. Give him that injection. Change this medicine. Why did you do like this? And then he started repairing. He started getting better. Before doctor will finish with him, doctor's friend died. Do you know that your friendship with God is not a guarantee of deliverance if you keep quiet. In our kingdom, no donation without demand. If God will donate, you must make demand. Somebody want to raise a cry to the law concerning a matter, concerning an affliction, concerning a trouble. I want to say the blood will fight for me. The light will fight for me. The fourth man must appear for me. Somebody want to say, let my affliction go back to hell. I don't know where that person is. I have five minutes for this prayer. I want you to lift up your two hands and walk to the altar. If you have a listen, it's not everybody I'm calling. There is something you want to disappear from your life. There's a testimony you want to go home with. There's a mountain. You want to say, Lord, lift it and cast it into the sea. You are the people I'm asking. And I have five minutes. Just come to the altar. Keep your two hands lifted. If you are coming, be fast for me. And I want you to cry. Cry to the Lord like Bartimaeus. Whatever it is, whatever it is, with your two hands lifted and with your voice lifted, can you cry to the Lord? Before you finish crying, answer will be released. Tell that ulcer to die. Tell that cancer to go. Tell that affliction to come to a permanent end. Shift it. Shift it. Back to hell. Tell that mountain. The cross of Calvary. Be thou lifted. Be thou cast into the sea. And it shall be so. 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 Two more minutes to cry. Relocate that affliction. 
relocate that trouble. Go back to hell. It is gone. 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 Fire! Fire! Look at the cutter, the cutter, the cutter. Look at the cutter, the cutter, the cutter. Look at the cutter, the cutter, the cutter, the cutter. Look at the, look at the. The power of God. The hand of the Lord is touching. The hand of the Lord is touching. The hand of the Lord is touching. Let it go. 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 Fire. Yes, Kalamendo, the Kutuka Supreme of the Sundan of Azando. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you. Whatever is not of God is living you. It 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 is living you. Oh, Shaka Taka Sonda Rabi Nabazote. Cry to the Lord. Let his hand reach you. Let your finger bring an end to your affliction. The enemy you see today, you will see them no more forever. Oh. Uh -huh. I see blood disease uprooted. Blood disease uprooted. Three up. Three all sub patients. Are healed right now. Amen. Three of you, three of you, three of you, three of you, three of you. Three of you. Ha, ha. Lift up your two hands. Three times. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Louder. Jesus. Jesus. Listen. As we shout this third time. There are eight people here that ancestral forces have tied. What followed your father will no more follow you. Amen. What follow your mothers will no more follow you. Amen. Are you ready? Show Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Let the power of God liberate you. Let him 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 liberate you. Fire! Fire! Yes. Fire! No, sir. No, sir. Thank you. Be exalted. Be exalted. Be exalted. Be exalted. Yes. Yes, be liberated. Be liberated. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Lay your two hands on your head. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Whatever God has not planted, let them be uprooted. Amen. Let there be a sanitation. Amen. A cleansing. Amen. A remover. Amen. A wooden. Amen. Go. Go. Whatever is not of God. Go. Amen. Go. 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 Amen. From their head. From their 
stomach from their breast from their blessing go go causes from father's house be broken fire be broken be broken be broken Love you too.